So hi, um, uh, this is what I want to teach you today. Uh, I'm teaching you how to make a bread. Uh, I'm not making a maida maida bread, so I'm making a half 50% maida, 50% uh, wheat flour bread. Extremely simple, it depends on what ingredients you use and uh, how you uh, beat your dough. So only two things that are there. Uh, so here we go. What I've done is I've taken, already taken uh, the flour, so it's three cups, one and a half cups is uh, maida and one and a, cup, a half cups is wheat flour. So I'm going to put it here in the mixing bowl, right? And what next I have done is I've taken one cup of warm water. So this was that one cup, okay? One cup of warm water and I've put in one teaspoon of dry yeast, okay? So this is the dry yeast that I got from Dubai. And I mean, you can use any angel or whatever, but this is the one that I have used. So I've used one spoon of um, dry yeast and one tablespoon of sugar into this so this is the water that you can see and then i'm going to add in a little salt so how much salt i'm going to add in around half a teaspoon of salt so i'm going to have added the half teaspoon of salt i have three tablespoon of butter this is cooking butter so i'm going to add that also well so now this dough is all about salt butter um, and the uh, flour okay and then what I do is mix this well all right and then the warm water is what I'm going to add now so I'm going to put all these aside and then take yeah so that's the dough I'm go going to add in that warm water so here we go this has the sugar uh, you could use honey too but I've used sugar and then just do this yeah you could add more water if you want but one cup is perfect for this one see it's it's coming in together well you could also alternate it with uh, milk so milk is what you could add to but this is uh, since I'm not making a sweet milk bread I have not used milk okay so here So here we are, uh, the dough is nice, it definitely needs to be a little more mushy than the chapati dough, see it's sticking in, it's okay to be that way, that's how it needs to be, okay, so keep, keep doing this, so keep beating it up, okay, so you need to eat, beat your dough, alright, beat it well and continue this process for around 5 to 10 minutes, beat it, beat it, so here we are. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Let's beat it. Let's beat it. So that's what you need to do. Okay. You need to give it a good beat. That's when you get a good bread dough. Okay. If you have a machine, you have a KitchenAid, it's much more easier. But since we are using our hands and we are not doing it every day, this is the easier way of doing it. So now after really, really beating it hard, it's time to let it to rise. So what we're going to do is just make a nice beautiful ball out of it. Okay. Yeah. This is good enough to go. I put in some olive oil at the base. Okay. Not too much. Just to, yeah. So that's about it. Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. sprinkle some on top too, so that it's not dry. Yeah, just spread it. Okay, and I'm going to cover it with a cloth and leave it for around an hour or one and a half hours till it's ready and risen up. After an hour, uh, look at my dough, it's all nice and fluffed up. So what I'm going to do is just punch it down a little. Okay. I'm today making buns, I'm not making bread. So I'm making the pow bun like they make in Goa because uh, it's a very good recipe that I'm going to do today. So it's going to be 
pow, go and pow with the usal. Okay, so there is something called misal, there's something called usal. Misal is made with uh, the small grains and uh, usal is made with uh, white watani. That's um, um, white uh, peas, okay? But uh, yeah, so once you uh, pop down the dough, then I have this tray which I already uh, you know lined it with oil and a little of flour so what I'm going to do is now take the dough take some small portions of dough and then make it into a bun so this is how you do it fold it backwards right yeah so this is how the buns are made yeah and then give it space and put it on the tray and then you'll have to wait again for it to rise up uh, so you'll have to wait for another hour or so when it rises up and then you need to bake it so these are all going to be made in a while and I'm going to show you how they look so just I'm going to put four each and then I'll let you know how they look yeah, so here we go uh, what I've done is I've just made it into small balls the way I showed you and now this is ready now again what I need to do is cover this up now with a cloth and it goes again and it will remain like this for another hour or so and after that I'll show you how it looks here is the next step uh, my buns are nicely plucked up I'm going to uh, do the egg wash now uh, for people who are vegetarians you don't need to worry you can just take some fresh cream uh, and just do a brush okay so this is eggs uh, with a little of cream the milk cream or milk you don't have to worry about the cream or the milk so or just butter is something that you could do so here we go okay and this will go to the oven now and uh, yeah here we go so I'll take this to the oven now and uh, bake it at uh, around 200 degrees for 20 minutes here we go the pow I like it that way it's nice and brown crisp from outside and soft from inside that's gonna be pow uh, and that's my usal so it's gonna be usal pow for dinner today yeah so usal is a little different from misal but yeah that's the usal and this is the pow it's gonna be usal pow and all made at home from scratch thank you for watching